Hey, what's up? It's your man, Willie Brown, and I'm so excited to be here with you guys. I want to give a shout out to Group 5 Groove Social Fellowship in conjunction with the endowment to raise funds for the University of Maryland Eastern Shore students who were affected by COVID-19. Well, that was a lot to say right there. Well, I got it out. All right. That's what we're here for. We're here to have a comedy show and we're going to raise funds for these students that are definitely in need. So we want y'all to dig deep. I mean, dig deep in the hip national bank. All right. And, and come up with some cash and help these kids out because they need your help right now. That's what it's all about. Okay. Better to give than to receive. All right. Now we all going through this pandemic and you know, it's been horrifying, but there have been some good things to come out of it. Okay. Like right now, this is what we call the new normal. All right. Just think y'all didn't have to fly me in. Okay. You had to put me up in the Marriott. All right. I didn't have to leave my car at the airport and I had to put my dog in the kennel. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to wear pants. Okay. That's right. I ain't worn pants in over a year. I don't even buy pants no more. Okay. I just buy the jacket and the shirt and I'm good. All right. I done cut my wardrobe budget in half. All right. Look. And I don't know about y'all, but I still can't find no toilet paper. Okay. I mean, I'm using loose leaf notebook paper over here. I don't know about you. Wide rule with the three holes punched in it. You know what I'm talking about? And I done went out and bought $3,000 worth of groceries and ain't paid no bills. I know I ain't the only one. I done, I done bought $3,000 worth of groceries ain't paid no bills. Now, I might get four clothes on, but I ain't going to be hungry. I'm going to tell you that right now. The sheriff could be at my door. Mr. Brown, you have to vacate the premises. I said, I'm coming. Look here. You can have that furniture, but don't touch that food right there, all right? You can take that furniture, but don't touch that food right there, okay? Now, this pandemic has been rough. It's been rough on everybody. It's been rough on the uh, adolescent children because they're in school, you know, on the computer trying to learn. And parents have to be there to make sure they're doing the right thing. Look, your child supposed to be in English. They over in math class. They're supposed to be in math. They at recess. I'm like, Maya, you at recess again? If you don't get back to English class... You're going to be in trouble. Some kids so bad, they're getting put on end Zoom suspension right now, okay? <laughs> it's COVID or something else, man. Ain't nobody paying no bills, including me. I'm telling you, mortgage company call me, Mr. Brown, uh, do you have a plan to pay? What you do, you make that COVID face. Eh? COVID? Yeah, that's the answer for everything, all right? Anybody call you. GMAC called me the other day. Mr. Brown, you're behind on your car note. Do you have any plans on paying us? I'm like, eh? COVID. That's all you got to do, y'all. Make that face, all right? You, you could have borrowed money from your best friend, Larry, every day. Hey, Larry, man, you got $150 that $150 that I lent you? You'd be like, eh? COVID. <laughs> Everybody understands that. Everybody understands that. And of course, I got this pandemic weight on, you know. I don't know about y'all, but I don't put on this extra poundage because you're stuck in the house on quarantine, man. So I had to go out, man, you know, and join the 24-hour fitness I didn't know you had to be there for 24 hours before you start to see results, though. <laughs> At the end of the day, I still look like the before picture, okay? It's ridiculous, man. My body done going all the pieces. Piece of cheesecake, piece of apple pie, piece of meatloaf. I'm telling you, it's rough, man. And you get to find out who you're really married to when you're in the COVID also, all right? Because y'all was never together that much. But during the quarantine, boy... You're going to find out who your wife is. <laughs> You're going to find out who your husband is, right? <laughs> Families are coming together, man. And then some of them are, 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 are splitting up. <laughs> they said divorce rate that went through the roof during this pandemic. Man, I'm telling you, you got to hang in there, folks. You know, and I know because I'm a married man. My wife, I want to give her a shout out, Cherry Brown. Very spiritual woman. I like to put these spiritual messages on my Facebook page. Whenever I leave home, like, there's no temptation known to man that God has not given you a manner of escape. Like, what? Resist the devil, he will flee from you. Like, Sherry, who are these messages for? Me or your friends? He who has an ear, let him hear. <laughs> my wife was a trip. And I knew my social media was going to change once I got married, you know. Because as uh, soon as my wife made all my Facebook friends her Facebook friends, oh yeah, my wife is gangster like that. She believed in the old adage, make your friends close and your enemies closer. And the truth is, wasn't nobody really trying to get at me, really, you know. It was a couple of big girls was hollering at me. And I knew there was big girls because they had cute faces and they cropped the picture up to here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't know what I'm talking about. Yep. 
<laughs> so, man, hey, man, we, we try to make the best out of this situation, man. You know, my wife and I, we trying to get along, you know, because when you first start dating, you know, you, you, you go along to get along, right? You don't really tell the truth about who you really are. But once you've been together for a while, you start to let it out. My wife the other day said, I couldn't sleep at all the other night. She said, you snored all night long. I said, well, you snored all night long. I slept just fine. See, my wife, we, sneak, we snore in shifts. She snored from 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. I snore from 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. I'm a, I'm a revenge snorer, okay? And I know they say, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. But the Lord ain't never woke me up at 3 o'clock in the morning snoring, okay? So what I do when she starts to... Uh, to call the hogs, I, mean, I, ch I go out and do something productive, like, you know, like drop a tranny in a 1964 Chevy or, or go build a deck or something like that, man. Fellas, make yourself useful, okay? That's what I'm telling you. Make yourself useful. <laughs> so look here. Uh, things are moving along. We got a new president. Thank God we got a new president, man. Thank God, because after the insurrection, I didn't know what to expect. I thought we were going to have anarchy. And honestly, I don't think black folks are fully prepared for anarchy. I know this black man ain't. I'm serious. I mean, I got a gun, but I ain't got no bullets. <laughs> Listen to me. I got a gun, but I ain't got no bullets. I got the one bullet that came with the gun. That's like when you buy that printer and you get the one cartridge that comes with the printer. That's what they call the accessory cartridge. Yeah, I have an accessory bullet. Like, what am I going to do with that when they come down the street? I'm like... <laughs> Save yourself. Look, folks, we're going to have a great time. We're just getting you started here. When I, when I come back, I'm going to have one of my good partners with me. And until then, I want you to speak with some of our other people who are going to tell you exactly what's going on with this program and how you can be a blessing to the students at the University of Maryland, Eastern Shore. All right, see you in a minute. <laughs>